Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 6.7, subtracting with renaming. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to rename to find the difference of two mixed numbers. Renaming is another way to say borrow. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, let's begin this lesson by reading the unlock the problem. It says, to practice for a race, Kara is running two and a half miles. When she reaches the end of her street, she knows that she has already run one and five, six miles. How many more miles does Kara have left to run? Let's look in the green box to help us find some information. It says, underline the sentence that tells you what you need to find. Well, we need to know this last sentence here. How many miles does Kara have left to run? And what operation are we going to use to solve the problem? Well, I have a big number, and then I have a smaller number. And this word here, how many does she have left, tells me that I need to subtract. Okay, so we're going to subtract 2 and 1 half minus 1 and 5 6. And right away I notice that we do not have a common denominator. So we're going to need to find a common denominator before we can subtract. Before we find a common denominator, let's estimate. 2 and 1 half is already at a benchmark because 1 half is a benchmark. So I'm going to leave 2 and 1 half and I'm going to subtract 5 6 is almost 1. If I have 1 plus another 1, that would be 2. So 2 and 1 half minus 2 gives me 1 half. So my answer is going to be about 1 half. Now let's go ahead and find some common denominators to subtract these numbers with. We have the number 2 and 6. And 2 and 6 have a common factor of 12. So it says find a common factor common denominator, and then write equivalent fractions. They've actually already done this for us. So they changed two and a half to two and six twelfths because six is half of 12. And two times six is 12 and one times six is six. And they've changed the second one for us as well. One and five six. In order to make six into 12, we multiply by two. So five times two is 10. So now we're subtracting 2 and 6 twelfths minus 1 and 10 twelfths. And this is where we get into the part that's called renaming. Because as you can see, we're going to try to subtract 6 minus 10. And we can't do that. If we only have 6, we can't take away 10. So this is what we call renaming. You might also know it as borrowing. So I'm going to borrow from the 2 because this is a whole number and I'm going to make it into a 1. And then when I make that 1, I'm going to move, just like I would borrow, I'm going to move the rest of it over here. But instead of calling it 1, now it lives in what I like to call fraction land. So we're going to call it by its fraction name, which would be 12 twelfths. But just like when we borrow with a, fra with a regular number, we have to add the number that's already there. So if I had 6 twelfths plus 12 twelfths, now I have 18 twelfths. So I can rename this number as 1 and 18 twelfths. 2 and 6 twelfths is the same as 1 and 18 twelfths. I've just borrowed and renamed so that I have nice easy numbers. Now I can subtract. 18 minus 10 is 8 twelfths and 1 minus 1 is 0. So I'm just left over with 8 twelfths. 8 twelfths is not in simplest form though because the number 4 can go into both 8 and 12. So I need to reduce my fraction. 4 goes into 8 2 times, and 4 goes into 12 3 times. So my simplest fraction is 2 thirds. So Kara has 2 thirds 
left of a mile to run. And my estimate was one half. And one half and two thirds are pretty close. Great job so far, fifth graders. We're gonna try this lesson another way. This borrowing and renaming with a fraction can be kind of tricky. So another way to do it is to rename both of your mixed numbers as fractions greater than one, improper, and then subtract. So we're going to use the same numbers that we had, two and a half minus five, one and five, six. So the first thing that we're going to do is write them with a common denominator. And this time we're going to use the common denominator six. So we're going to round two and a half to two and three, six, because three is half of six. So that's an equivalent fraction. And then one and five, six is going to stay the same because it already has a sixth on the bottom. Now we are going to make improper fractions out of both of these. And if you remember back from fourth grade, the way that we make improper fractions is that we multiply times the bottom and then add to the top. So two times six is 12, plus three is 13, 14, 15. So that would be 15, six. Then we're gonna do the same thing with our other fraction. One times six is six, plus five, is 11, six. Now I've renamed my whole mixed number and now I can subtract. 15, six minus 11, six is four, six. And then I can reduce that down because both numbers are divisible by two. So two goes into four two times, and two goes into six three times. So my reduced fraction is two thirds, two thirds. So you can see we get the same answer, but we did it a slightly different way. Both methods work and we will practice both methods in class. Great job so far, fifth graders. It's time for the lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is the first problem in the share and show section of your math pages. You can go ahead and do your problems right there on the page and just be prepared to show your teacher when you meet at the teacher table. So today's activity says that we are going to subtract one and three fourths minus seven eighths. So let's go ahead and estimate and I'll get you started. One and three fourths is almost two because four fourths would be a whole. So two, minus, and 7 eighths is almost a whole, so 2 minus 1, so our estimate's going to be that our answer is going to be about 1. Now let's go ahead and find a common denominator. 4 and 8 have a common denominator of 8, so I'm going to rename 1 and 3 eighths into something over 8. In order to change a 4 into an 8, I multiplied by 2, so I have to multiply the top by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I'm going to subtract 7 eighths. And as you can see here, we have 6 minus 7, and that doesn't work. So we need to borrow from this 1, which becomes a 0. And then we move over here to fraction land, 8 eighths. Now I'm going to rewrite this over here so that I have a little bit more space. 8 plus 6, because remember we can't forget what we already had, is 14 eighths minus seven eighths. So go ahead and finish this problem and be prepared to show it to your teacher at the teacher table. Great job so far, fifth graders.